morning. There is an expert in studio to help us in this particular conversation on weight loss and detox. And none other uh, than Lucy Chege. She is a nutritionist. Karibu uh, sana, Lucy. Thank you for coming. I appreciate it. Uh, how have you been? Very well. Okay. Tell us, a, uh, tell us a, bit, a bit more about what you do and how people can be able to find you online or on social media. Okay. My name is Lucy Chege. I am a certified nutritionist. I advise on all matters nutrition. Mm -hmm. or I basically do medical nutrition therapy. Mm -hmm. I'm also a YouTuber. Nutrition mm -hmm. Therapy by Lucy. Subscribe, subscribe. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, I'm a YouTuber. Uh -huh. And also, I am a mother. A mother? Yes. Wow, wow. And uh, it's all about nutrition therapy by Lucy. Yes. That is how it's known. Nutrition therapy, therapy by Lucy, by Lucy yes. on YouTube. And you also have, uh, have a website. Yeah? Yes, nutritiontherapybylucy.co.ke. Mm -hmm. .co.ke. Yes. Thank you so much for, 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 for joining us today. Uh, but before we talk much about uh, uh, detox and, uh, and, uh, and, and weight loss, what is nutrition therapy by Lucy all about, just in a nutshell, in short? Okay, nutrition therapy by Lucy, mm -hmm. let's say I, I manage it privately, mm -hmm. and it's all about managing or helping people live healthy or make the right food choices, to live uh -huh. healthy mm -hmm. and also to manage most of the, let's say, non-communicable diseases. Mm -hmm. Maybe in case you have diabetes, you're hypertensive, you have arthritis, you are pregnancy, mm -hmm. nutrition must come in to manage, to manage the condition. Because you are what you eat. Yes, you are what you eat. <laughs> yeah? Yes. And now, um, we are talking about detox and um, weight loss, specifically. I'm mm -hmm. sure that there are so many things that we can touch on yeah. when it comes to nutrition. But let's focus on this particular uh, area. When you talk about detox, mm -hmm. what exactly do we mean? Because I'm seeing so many theories outside here. Yeah. I'm detoxing. Yeah, detoxing. Yeah. Um, I'm going to, to, uh, for this medical treatment to detox. That uh, is detox. Yeah? <laughs> so, so, so we wonder, detox <laughs> what is it all about? When you talk about detoxification or detox, we are yeah. talking about getting rid of the harmful substances in the body. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But it's good to keep in mind that your body does it naturally. Correct. Yes. Naturally, your body has its own self-maintained yeah. mecha mechanisms. Yeah, because we have your detoxification organs, we have our skin, our mm -hmm. liver, kidney, your digestive system, mm -hmm. all mm -hmm. those that are involved in detoxification. Mm -hmm. So even as much as we are taking maybe foods to, to help these organs to function normally, it's good to, it is important to note that your body does it naturally. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, so can, can you help your body to detox? Is it right to do it? Yes, it is right. And it starts by taking care of these organs. Mm -hmm. How are you taking care of your liver? Okay. By that you mean your alcohol consumption? Watch a pombe. Because every time you take alcohol, uh. you're destroying your liver cells. Uh -huh. So it means you are limiting its function. When someone out watch a pombe? Yes, you can. Unezawacha, you can limit. <laughs> you have all the options. Uh -huh. Then it comes to your kidneys, a detoxifying organ. Uh -huh. Are you taking enough water? How is your salt or sodium intake? Mm -hmm. When it comes to your skin, what mm -hmm. are you applying? What are you doing to take care of your skin? Uh, so detox. Ngoja. Go back. Go back. That part of water. Mm -hmm. There are people who carry big big uh, 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 you know, jugs of water every single day. When they go to work, there's always, I don't know if it is there in your office where you work, but there's always that person who has a bottle of water <laughs> on their desk. Mm -hmm. um, how much should you consume per day? Because they keep on refilling it, refilling it, refilling it. You know, uh, in, in biology, I, I, I remember something about uh, uh, a cell being flaccid. <laughs> I don't know what, <laughs> and sometimes in the lipuka. <laughs> <laughs> so in my head, I'm like, take too much water. Some it's a lipuka. Things, a lipuka. <laughs> <laughs> Is that true? Actually, I encourage having a water bottle huh. because it's kill him too, who he sick you. But mm -hmm. once you have a water bottle, mm -hmm. it's like a reminder, hey, I need to sip my water. I need to take adequate water. Mm -hmm. So all those people, you find them with a water bottle, it's a way of encouraging themselves to take some water. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And recommended, the standard one is 2.5 liters. And these people who have Ndimu, mm -hmm. is it good? Yes, it is good because it kind of gives a taste. Because sometimes you can find your water is it's bland, it's mm -hmm. just there. Does it help to detox? 
I would say it helps in detox, but if you find maybe yourself you are, you are struggling with having maybe taking enough water, mm -hmm. you can do the ndimu, lemon, or mm -hmm. you can do the cucumbers. Okay. In a pair maji kind of taste. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, my summer organ, organ the skin, Cindy. Yeah. Nini, uh, what skin? You are magic, your kidneys and both your skin. Kidney, yes. uh, let's talk about the skin. This, um, things that people apply, mm -hmm. uh, for you know, you, you, you go to a shop mm -hmm. is written for dry skin, yeah. for, for oily skin, for, 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 for what moderate skin or yeah. normal skin. Mm -hmm. Are they good and? Do they have a role to play when it comes to detoxification? I think I won't dwell that in that much because I'm not a dermatologist, uh -huh, but uh -huh. I always believe whatever you're applying on your skin, uh -huh. it will definitely maybe help you or maybe do you some harm. But, but it's connected to, to the food you eat? Yes, but okay. also what you're applying. So how pack it too up? Unapaka na ina iko kwangozi pia. Yeah. So whatever, maybe dermatologists can advise this may be better, mm -hmm. but I believe whatever you are taking, whatever you are applying on your skin, it has effect on your health. You deal with matters concerning the food. Yes. There are people who take food, some types of food, they mix them mm -hmm. and they apply on their faces. Mm -hmm. you've, seen, you've seen that? They are doing the natural, going the natural yes, way. Yes, yes. Huh? So, so, so you wonder what the connection between food and... Uh, anyway, skin is also a way of uh, 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 de 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 detoxification. Yes. All right, any other? Like if your digestive system, after uh -huh. eating you must get in the, the fecal matter, that's a, that's a way of getting rid of the toxin. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so mm -hmm. even your digestive system, it is a detoxifying okay. organ. Okay, yeah. so um, that's what, what we mean by to detox, yeah. what it's all about. Yeah, but also maybe what I can add in, mm. To help these organs maybe function normally, mm -hmm. the detoxifying organs, you can take in maybe foods, the antioxidant and phytochemical containing foods. Mm -hmm. And all these, the antioxidant, you're going to find them in taking plenty of fruits and vegetables. That's where you'll get all the antioxidants in your phytochemicals. All types of fruits? Yes, all types of fruits and veggies make your plate very colorful. Mm -hmm. can, can, can you just mention but a few? Um, so you're saying fru fruits and vegetables okay. helps to detox. Let's mention just but a few of, of, of these that uh, somebody can say, I want to be buying this every single day. And how frequent should they take it? In the morning, in the evening, or once a day? You know, just to mention but uh, and it comes to a few fruits, specific ones. All fruits are good, but there are, the, there are some major, like your, your apple, mm -hmm. the berries, all type of berries, mm -hmm. carrots. We have the beta carotene, a very strong antioxidants when it comes to your veggies mm -hmm. you can do all types of cabbage you have the red cabbage you have mm -hmm. the, the white one you can do your broccoli mm -hmm. yes mm -hmm. like mixing your plate and make it colorful and it's okay to have these things every every single day yes like once uh, um, should you have it in the morning in the evening or just in the evening before you go to bed like maybe for your fruits you can do four servings to five servings per day mm -hmm. yeah because when it comes to to fruits and veggies you are nourishing your body. They are nutrient dense, mm -hmm. but very low in calories. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So apples, berries, and uh, all uh, types of all types of fruits. All types of fruits. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, because there are those who are, who, who are uh, encouraged not to eat some particular types of food uh, mm -hmm. because of some health conditions. Yeah. It, no, does that also play a role? Yeah, it does. Cause maybe. You can't go for a food that is very high in sugars and maybe your sugars, your diabetic and your sugars are not well controlled. Mm -hmm. So you maybe opt to go for a, a fruit that is low in glycemic index. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. And, and, and that's what I'm saying. Are there any specific types of fruits that are good for all types of conditions, whether you're diabetic mm -hmm. or, uh, uh, or not? Do we have any types of fruit that a diabetic can take mm -hmm. and somebody who's not diabetic can also take somebody who has a problem of, of acidity mm -hmm. is there one that they can take you know do, are there fruits that cut across the board yes there are like the the apple mm -hmm. and the blueberries to be specific the blueberries uh -huh. because one thing or any other fruit that has edible edible skin because once you consume the edible skin, mm. you are consuming in the fiber. Do, do, do mangoes also fall there? 
Yeah, we, but no, 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 some people they peel their mango, but personally, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it's edible. It's edible? Yes. Yeah, yeah, we should not peel those things. No, no, no. no. That's uh, nyama nyama <laughs> yeah, you just eat everything. It. Just eat everything. Yes. So it's your, your apples, your blueberries, mm -hmm. or any other fruit that has edible skin, it's, uh, they are good. Okay. Uh, what, um, does cholesterol uh, also play a, a role in weight loss? Uh, uh, and, and how exactly can, uh, s what should someone do to lower their cholesterol levels? Okay. When it comes to cholesterol, mm -hmm. you can, maybe first, the, like you can't just sit down and decide uh, my cholesterol are high. Mm. So you must go for a cholesterol profile, you do your lab test. And once maybe you get your cholesterol profile, they are high, maybe your LDL or what we refer to the bad cholesterol, that's when maybe you can embark on consuming a diet that can help you to lower it. Mm -hmm. And we're talking mm -hmm. about the type of cooking fat or the cooking oil that you're using. Mm -hmm. Considering mm -hmm. your fatty food, mm -hmm. the meat, the fatty meat, mm -hmm. the deep fried foods, most of the fast foods, they are very high in, in fat. Unasoma vitu mina penda kukula sana. Nyama choma. Unakula nyama choma vizuri imeoka. It's bad. It's not bad. In nutrition, mm. nothing is bad. It's only that we do too much. But if we do everything in moderation, I think we are, okay. we are good to go. Okay. Yes. It's not bad to eat them, yes. but eat them in moderation. Yeah, because again, we don't want to live in a lie. Foods mm. are all over. Mm -hmm. Yeah, pizza, they are all over. Want, we don't want to live a lie, but you don't have to make pizza or, or fries your daily meal. I want to step on uh, a woman's toe. There is a lady who, who may, may, may feel a pinch here. Wana wakia ungina wanaependa kupika na mafuta mingi. Ukichukua, hata kama ni chapati, ufinye. Unanini mafuta? Mafuta. Even if it is just ile mboga, manyama, and then you tilt the plate. Oil, you know, ni kama wanaependa tu mafuta as if mafuta ndo kupika. Give us your thoughts on that. I think it's all about thinking maybe the, the cooking oil will make the food more sweeter, which is not mm -hmm. the case. Because mm -hmm. cooking oil, just to give that food that palatability. Yeah. But it's not about the sweetness or what. Actually, you find that when you have too much cooking oil mm -hmm. on your food, mm -hmm. because you feel nauseated. So yeah, just use yeah. moderation, in mm -hmm. moderate. Mm -hmm. Yes. So. Chakula si mafuta. Chakula si mafu. Yes. Uh, is what I'm saying the truth. Ama mimi no ni monawa na wake sana hafa. In ukweli. Chakula, mafuta yuko imeja. Yeah. Atuna, sometimes you don't feel like taking, you take like maybe three spoons, mm -hmm. you're already nauseated. Yeah. yeah. So, um, uh, and, and this is the, uh, a problem when it comes to, I don't know, kama ni kupima ndio shida, ama, ama nini, but you should do it with, in moderation. Yeah, I think ni kupima and also our perception that each chakula itakuwa tamu ni kie kama mafuta mingi. Ni kie kama mafuta mingi. Yes. But you are actually uh, harming yourself. Yeah, harming myself. Uh -huh. And is, is it bad to take this, you know, they are, uh, as you're eating, mm -hmm. uh, there is this part of uh, flesh in an animal, ma matumbo, mm -hmm. ama they kukuna patingina nyama nyiko na mafuta mingi sana. Mm -hmm. Is it bad to take that and for somebody who wants to detox and lose weight, uh, should they avoid it. Yeah, when it comes to to meat or the, or the red meat, I recommend the lean meat mm -hmm. or the fat free. Don't go for the fat meat. I know sometimes it's sweet, mm -hmm. but don't go for that fat because that's what we call we refer to the saturated fat mm -hmm. or what we refer to the bad cholesterol. Mm -hmm. And high saturated fats in your body will definitely raise your bad cholesterol. What we refer to, to the LDL the bad uh -huh. cholesterol in your body. Uh -huh. yes. Uh -huh. yes. So avoid them. Yeah, avoid them. Always mm -hmm. go for the lean meat. Ama ukinunua nyamikona mafta, you can always trim the, the fat. And, and now for somebody who may not understand what you're saying, mm -hmm. what do you mean when you say, when you say the word lean meat? Lean meat are referring to nyamikona haina mafta. Let me say that. Nyamikona haina mafta. Okay. Yeah, the, the white part. If you mm -hmm. buy maybe a fatty meat, you can always trim that fat. What about these guys that are working on chips? When I say makausha, it is an idea. 
not really cause hata kikaushwa eh. imekaushwa kwa mafuta <laughs> <laughs> So there, there is no difference. There is no what, difference. Whether it's mekaushwa or just soft, yeah. you are taking the same thing. You are taking the same, yeah. same thing. Yes. So you will not lose weight and your cholesterol levels may actually increase. Yeah, we have increased. It will increase. Yeah, but also important to note that mm. don't, don't mm. judge someone's cholesterol based on their physical appearance. Uh -huh. You might be, let me say, big, but uh -huh. your cholesterol levels are well manageable. You can be small, but your cholesterol levels are very high. Mm -hmm. So don't judge someone's cholesterol by just looking at them. So, so, so um, <laughs> at what point should you say that I think I'm too fat? Or <laughs> <laughs> that's bad. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies have this problem. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh, cholesterol levels zangu ni mingi ni mongeza mafuta you know um, so it, it is it is not quite proper to judge yourself based on how you look at yourself uh, yeah. at yourself in the mirror yes. there are things to check for maybe when you want to embark on a weight loss program you can go for you can check your bmi how is your bmi mm -hmm. you can go for your cholesterol profile mm -hmm. you can check your weight circumference things like that before maybe embarking on a weight loss uh -huh. yes. And uh, for, for, for you to do that, mm -hmm. who are the best personnel to give you such kind of information? Because some, sometimes someone just goes uh, on the streets and, uh, pima and uh, ah, I think I weight, I should lose it. Maybe after those you cocoa street, they are good, I'm still the picky, but mm. when it comes to, to your health, it's very important you go to someone maybe you trust. Mm -hmm. You can go to a nutritionist, you can check in a hospital, let your weight be taken well, your height, because maybe you find that some of these, maybe the street ones, they are mm -hmm. not well calibrated. Mm -hmm. So go in the hospital, have your weight taken, your height taken, your weight circumference taken, mm -hmm. and also check your cholesterol. Mm -hmm. yeah, because like I said, kitukama cholesterol, you can't just sit down and judge yourself, your cholesterol levels are high. Mm -hmm. yes. Now, now, now uh, there are those who want to lose weight. Mm -hmm. So what they do is, they starve themselves. Mm -hmm. They avoid taking some meals mm -hmm. across uh, a, a, a day. Mm -hmm. So they take once or, 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 or just less times, less number of meals. Is that advisable? It is not actu actually fasting. If you are fasting to lose weight, mm -hmm. I wouldn't recommend such because you won't fast for the rest of your life. Mm -hmm. I only recommend full fasting unless it is religious. But mm -hmm. if you are doing it for weight loss, you are losing something because you will just give up on the way. So it's all about adopting and making deliberate healthy food choices. So um, having a long term plan. So you should. So for, for those who say they are skipping meals mm -hmm. to lose weight, mm -hmm. they are harming themselves. Are they harming themselves? Yes, to a, to some extent, especially people they starve from themselves from the carbohydrates. Mm. Yeah, like mukate. Utanusia mkate, utanona times two, but mm. that's not the case, especially the carbohydrates. Mm -hmm. Don't starve yourself from the carbohydrates, mm -hmm. and these are the energy-giving foods. Mm -hmm. And it is important to note that 45 to 65 percent of your daily calories mm -hmm. should come from your, from your carbohydrates. carbohydrates. So if your daily calories is 2,000, that means 900 to 1,300 should come from your carbohydrates. Mm -hmm. So if you starve yourself from your carbohydrates, you might not see it, but internally, inside you, something wrong is happening. You know, we have just come from the holidays recently. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> <laughs> so now they're struggling to lose the weight they gained uh, mm -hmm. a, a few months ago. Mm -hmm. um, what would be like your, your, your tips mm -hmm. that you'd give this lady or gentleman who is watching you today mm -hmm. and they want to lose weight? They are really trying, lakini, mm -hmm. Yeah, so they are wondering what is wrong with my body. What, what, what tips would you like to give them? First, knowing the root cause of your weight, of mm -hmm. your weight gain. Mm -hmm. It could be maybe you have a medical condition like hypothyroidism. It could be maybe for, for the ladies, the type of the family planning methods you are using. It's contributing to all this. So fast, your genetics you might be coming from a generation where you are big people. So mm. understanding the root cause of your weight gain. Mm -hmm. Then after that, 
first you make realistic goals. <laughs> you did not gain this <laughs> this weight just over, you just overnight. Was, yeah, overnight. Yeah. Make realistic goals. Set goals. Those they must be realistic mm. and also consistency. See yeah. Leo next week. You know the the uh, uh, and for for those who go to the gym, mm -hmm. uh, uh, is is gym also a way of uh, losing weight? Yes, it is. Actually, mm -hmm. it contributes to twenty percent. Mm -hmm. It is eighty percent clean eating, mm -hmm. and also the twenty percent from your physical exercise. Okay. Because the physical exercise working out dramatically does well to your cholesterol levels. Mm -hmm. Yes. You, you've heard of cheat days? Yes, they are. They are they, everybody <laughs> cheats. <laughs> everybody cheats. Yeah. Advisable or not? If you're on my program, cheat. Make sure many am beer. Yes. Abu niki boko. Yeah, cause like, don't, don't no, apana. like I said, yeah. we don't to live a lie. Yeah. Ati ukipitia bezi ya chipu umefunga tu macho. No sema mungu naomba. Yes. We don't to live a lie. We want to just to live as normal persons, but making delib deliberate, healthy food choices. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now, I want you to, uh, I want us to give yet another example. So mm -hmm. I, have, I have so many questions. <laughs> For pregnant women, mm -hmm. there's this time and season when you, you gain a lot of weight. Yes. And uh, I, am, I am well aware that some pregnant women now, we are, are not now comfortable with how they, their body is. Mm -hmm. uh, what tips would, would you like to give them? Because now they're worried about the, the weight they, they, they acquired, mm -hmm. about their shape. They feel like they have a tummy. Mm -hmm. They feel like they're losing their, 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 uh, fig, their, their eight figure. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, how, what should somebody do when they have gone through that particular season? Actually, it's okay to feel whatever you're feeling. Babies, they come with they change a woman's body. Mm -hmm. most, most women, they, they experience that. But what I would advise is, maybe for the first six months, give yourself time with the baby. Remember, this baby is fully dependent on you. So make sure you are, you are eating enough. I always say eat enough. Mm. Don't just exaggerate just because you are breastfeeding. Just eat enough, make yourself well hydrated. Then after the six months, once we introduce the solids, mm. you can start now taking like fully taking care of your weight mm -hmm. yeah, but mm -hmm. don't eat don't exaggerate mm -hmm. just eat enough then after the six months you can en you can enroll for a weight loss program mm -hmm. if it was too much okay yeah but okay. also the breastfeeding it's another way of losing weight and also reducing oh, you your time when you breastfeed you can yes. lose weight yeah you're, you're burning calories through uh -huh. breastfeeding yeah, so you find your weight is well taken care of mm -hmm. and also your tummy. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. um, final question, mm -hmm. because we have run out of time. When it comes to jogging, mm -hmm. um, is there a best time to jog? And is jogging a solution of weight loss? There are, many, there are some who jog in the morning. Mm -hmm. There are those who jog in the, in, in the evening. Mm -hmm. So what is the best time? I think it all depends with your schedule. Mm -hmm. We have the the morning people, you have the evening people, mm. as any time, any time of the day. When you okay. find time, you can do your jogging, mm -hmm. you can do for your morning run, evening run. Mm -hmm. It's just any time of the day. Okay. Yeah, but also maybe I can add something. Don't concentrate too much on that number on the scale. Mm. Look for other, we, we, there are things we call the non-scale victories. Mm -hmm. You can find that maybe the weight the number on the scale is not changing mm -hmm. but there are other things that are, that are changing okay. maybe your clothes are fitting better mm -hmm. your your sleep has improved mm -hmm. maybe your medical markers they have improved maybe before your sugars were not controlled but after adopting a healthy eating plan you find that your sugars are well controlled your blood pressure you're mm -hmm. sleeping well your clothes are fitting so don't just focus on the on the number on the scale mm -hmm. because that can be limiting mm -hmm. and also not motiva motivating enough. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Thank you so much, Lucy. Um, huh. I want to give you just time to have a final word mm -hmm. to for, for for just twenty seconds in, mm -hmm. in in short. What should be our a, a, a parting shot for the day when it comes to detoxification mm -hmm. and uh, weight loss? That is the camera. I can talk to somebody. Okay, then mm -hmm. when it comes to weight loss, just watch your diet, choose your carbohydrates very wisely, go for the, for the high fiber. For the high fiber, you can do things like the sweet potato, you can do your, your andoma, the arrow roots, all those whole ones, because the fiber will help you 
lose that weight. And also, like I've said, be consistency, be self-disciplined, and also set realistic goals. And also, don't focus too much on that, on that number, on the scale, because that is not the only way to measure your success. Okay. Check your non your non scale victories. Those like I have talked about, are your clothes fitting better? Has mm -hmm. your sleep improved? That way you can also measure your success. Mm -hmm. Yes. Thank you so much, Lucy. Thank you for having me. Uh, you're, 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 you're doing a good job, man. Thank you. Uh, you're doing a good job. Thank uh, you. We, we will come for more tips. Check her out on her website. Uh, the website is called Nutrition, Nutrition. Therapy by Lucy. Mm -hmm. co. Ke. Mm -hmm. On Instagram at Les Lucy Chege M. YouTube Nutrition Therapy by Lucy. Mm -hmm. yes. Thank you so much. And that brings us to the end of this particular conversation, but we still have more in line for you.